Hi, my name is Harry and I will shortly introduce to you my poster, which is a modeling study on the Mortrage Glacier in Switzerland. Um, this is how the poster looks like and it's in fact subdivided into three parts. In the first part, which is in red, the ice thickness is reconstructed. This is done by combining radar measurements with several theoretical assumptions and by doing so we reproduce the ice thickness over the glacier and this is also used to deduce the bedrock elevation. In a second part, which is shown in green, um, we try to reproduce uh, the observed surface velocities. This is done by uh, launching an ensemble of 100 runs, each with a specific sliding parameter and rate factor, and we try to get a as good fit as possible uh, between the observed and the modeled surface velocities. Finally, in the third part, which is shown in blue, the time dimension is added. And um, this is done uh, by coupling our higher order model with a mass balance model. And by doing so, uh, we can uh, make some prognostic uh, ice flow modeling, which means that we can simulate how the glacier would evolve under a certain climate. So for instance, for present day, we see that the mass balance over the glacier is equal to minus one meter ice equivalent. So, um, a strong retreat is expected under present day climate for the glacier. And this is also shown here in this simulation where you see uh, a strong retreat of Moitrach. You see that both glaciers disconnect, also that the thicknesses go down for Moitrach. And in the end, a new equilibrium is reached between the imposed climate and the glacier uh, geometry. Finally, on the poster, uh, you will also find uh, some takeaway messages and the current work I'm working on, which is a train and run. So if you're interested, please don't hesitate to pass by. Thank you.